Holy cow. That's a fish. That is a fish. Ooh, that's a nice one. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. In this episode, I am heading to one of my favorite spots that is best described as the Jurassic Park of spillways. Not only because the fish living there are big, but they are literally armed to the teeth. I've made it to the spillway and the water is not flowing at all. So I don't think that's going to be a good thing. I'm gonna to try to catch some bait. Here we go. All right, I caught something. What is that? What did I just catch? Oh, I caught a shad. Awesome. I made it to a nice little beach. I'm gonna set up right here and see what we can catch. Here's something new I came up with, guys. I got my little aerator on the side of my five gallon bucket that I always bring with me fishing. I just carry all my tackle in it, but I'm actually turning it into a live well to hopefully keep the bait a little fresher. All right, finally caught some more bait. I was able to catch three shad, one really big one, and then a small little bluegill. I was hoping to catch a lot more bait using that cast net as that's the first time I've ever used it out here, but that's what I've got. So I'm gonna work with it and hopefully catch a monster. I originally was going to cut this bigger shad up to use as cut bait, but I'm after big fish. So I think I'm actually going to use this guy whole as live bait to see what monster might try eating this. All right, guys, here we go. On my smaller spinning rod, I'm going to rig up this little bluegill that I caught and also use him as live bait. All right, guys, suddenly just picked up this bait. Here we go. Fish on. Oh, nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. Uh-oh, he's tangled on my other rod. Oh my gosh. There we go guys, first catch. Not as big as I thought, but still a decent bow fin. Something just picked up that big shad. Something just picked up that giant shad. All right, it's still there. Here we go. They come off. Oh my gosh, what? No way. You guys will not believe what that was. I don't know if you could tell. That was a giant largemouth bass. Dang, it came off right at the bank. When I was talking about this spot being the Jurassic Park of spillways, well, this fish right here is one of the reasons why. Not only is this a prehistoric fish, but it has some gnarly shark teeth. See you later, buddy. I am disappointed I was unable to land that fish, but I'm still blown away. That giant shad was out there for 30 minutes when that big bass picked it up. Darn, I need to catch some more bait. Ooh, what did I just catch, guys? 
Oh, it was a uh, little carp. That's a fish. That is a fish. It's a nice one. I was just off getting bait. What is this? Oh, it's a bowfin. Oh my gosh. This is a nicer fish. There we go. 6.2 pounds. See you later, buddy. Coming in at 6.2 pounds, that's one of the biggest bowfin that I've ever landed, but it is nowhere near the size of my personal best, which is 10 pounds. So hopefully I'll be able to catch some even bigger. Oh, there we go. I caught a bunch of fish. What did I get? All right, looks like I caught a buffalo and a bunch of shad. I'm not gonna keep this buffalo for bait. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. See you later, buddy. If you guys are interested in how I'm catching these bowfin, it's a simple Carolina rig. On this rod, I'm using 10 pound fluorocarbon with a 3 8 ounce barrel weight to a swivel. And then about 12 inches below the swivel, I have a 6 aught circle hook with a piece of cut up shad. All right, here we go, guys. Fish on. Oh, it's a nice one. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, it's a giant bass. It's a giant bass. No way. Are you serious? <laughs> this bass just ate a cut up piece of shad. 4.07, just over four pounds. See you later, buddy. Awesome. I cannot believe that four pound bass just picked up that cut up piece of little shad. Decent fish. I think it's another bass. I'm not positive yet. I think it's another big bass. Yep, another bath. What is going on, you guys? That is so crazy. See you later, buddy. This fishing trip is not going as planned at all. I was never expecting to catch not one, but two nice sized bass from beneath this spillway. I've stopped getting bites here, so I think I might move downstream a little bit to try to locate where some of these bigger fish might be hanging out. I've moved about 50 yards downstream, and I'm really liking how this bank is shaded, so I think some fish might be congregating over here. Let's find out. All right, I caught something with my net. Yes! All right, looks like I caught a shad and a bluegill. Awesome. I've had some pretty good luck using cut up bluegill here, but I've never tried them whole. So I'm going to go ahead and rig this guy up as live bait and see what we can catch. Holy cow! 
Did you guys see that? This is a nice fish. I was about to move spots. What is this? I think it's a catfish. Yes, there we go. All right, this is the second biggest catfish I've caught from beneath this spillway. The largest being that flathead catfish. See you later, buddy. I'm happy to have caught that channel catfish, but ever since I moved downstream, I have not gotten many bites. So I think I'm gonna move back towards the spillway because I have a feeling that's where the fish are. This spot could get interesting because there is what looks like a sunken barbed wire fence right out here in front of me. I'm gonna give it a shot, but I have a feeling that's gonna cause me some trouble. That's a fish. That is a fish. Holy cow. All right, what is this? Stay away from the bar bar, please. Staying down deep. Oh, I think it's another catfish. Yeah, looks like a channel cat. She's pretty looking, but nowhere near the size of fish that I'm hoping to catch. See you later, buddy. There we go. Oh, it's a nice bowfin. Stay away from that bar bar. Stay away from that bar bar. Holy cow. No, 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 no. What happened? What happened? What happened? Whew. That was a nice one. I was trying to horse him in to keep him away from that barbed wire and he came off. Dang it. Unfortunately, I have to head out of here and the fishing has slowed down to a complete stop, but I still had a lot of fun today. This spillway did not disappoint. I was catching a ton of nice fish and I ended up catching some really nice sized bass. So needless to say, I had a lot of fun today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd really appreciate it if you left a thumbs up, possibly think about subscribing if you haven't. I will catch you guys on the next one. There's a swell in the water.